Hi there. Uh, we just released Mod Studio version 2024.1, and I'll now show you uh, one of many cool features that we have added. For the first time, we collaborated with a well known modder to create a mod template that you can all use within Mod Studio. I'm talking about uh, Jeb Modshop and his large garage prefab for American Truck Simulator. And you can see it in the video behind me. If you like this prefab, be sure to visit and like Jeb's Facebook page and keep an eye on it because this is not the only mod he made. Um, possibly in the future, we're going to collab collaborate even more and create more prefabs. Right. This prefab, as you can see, is much more realistic and it looks much more like uh, the yards that real American truck companies would use. Mod Studio uh, gives you a lot of options to customize it. And for instance, you can add your own graphics to the yards and buildings signs. You can change what trucks and trailers are parked in the yard, as you can see. We have Mod Studio trucks here, and you can also change all the colors, like the fence, the building, the roof, everything you would like. In just a second, we're going to jump into Mod Studio, and I'm going to show you how to modify all this. All right, let's go. All right, um, I've started Mod Studio 2, and we're going to start by creating a new American Truck Simulator project. There we go. Uh, obviously, first thing we want to do is add a Jabs Large Garage mod template. This is in the prefabs category. And you're going to see uh, a couple of things here. First is the template info page, which gives you links directly to Jab Mod Shop on Facebook which would be very nice of you all to go there and like the page. And also, you can support Jab directly using PayPal. Also, since we at Mod Studio value the work modders do, uh, we wanted to protect Jab's work, so we added this little icon, which indicates that whenever you export a project containing this template, the exported mod file will be locked. Okay, first thing, you want to change probably is the signs. This is the signs that you can find on the main building and on the fence uh, right next to the entry into the yard. So to get the uh, to get the template that you want to edit probably, you can go into this template directory, click on the button, the window will pop up, and there's you're gonna find a signs template PNG file, which then you can copy and edit. I'll show you how the default one looks. This is it. This is how the default jabs signs look. And you can clearly see on this template, it's clearly labeled which sign is which. And you can also change the background of the signs, background colors. And there's the three signs. Okay. I'll obviously replace this with one of my uh, pre-made images that I made for this tutorial. And here we go, I'm making a Mod Studio garage, and this is my science. Just basic, I pre-made this file so the tutorial can move along a little faster. And we can go now onto the colors. Here's five colors that you can edit, and that's building paint, building roof paint, building trim, building doors, and fence color. So this is all really cool, and you can edit these colors by clicking select next to each of them. This opens our uh, little SCS color picker. And I actually have a little cheat sheet here. Uh, I've, uh, I have hex codes for my uh, Mod Studio colors. Okay, let's enter these here. And here, if you can see, there we go, where I pasted my hex code. I'm going to click enter. There we go. This is a Mod Studio Blue. And I've uh, pasted it onto the SCS color space side. This is this is going to make uh, this is going to make sure that uh, it's more accurate in the uh, in the game itself. 
All right, this is now my building paint. And I'm gonna do exact same hex color. Press enter. There we go, for my tents. I've actually played with these colors uh, before, and this is the combination I, <laughs> I enjoy the most. Let's go put some orange roof. There we go, Mod Studio Orange. Now I got two lighter Mod Studio colors. Uh, one is going to go into the trim. There we go. Even the lightest Mod Studio blue is going to go here. There we go. This is my Mod Studio colors. And now for the best part, parked vehicles. This, you can only edit these, or you can actually just uh, use these fine trailers and fine trucks buttons if you are a Patreon, patron on our Patreon. So it's a little perk for everybody who supports our project. And if you don't have a pro version activated, then this is going to be kind of the default settings that are going to be there. These trailers are just basic jab match up white trailers and these trucks that are defined as truck. This is the default SCS truck vehicles. Okay. But we actually want to create a couple of our own trailers and a couple of trucks that have our skins on it. That would really look nice in the, in the yard. First of all, let's add a couple of trucks into our project. And I'm going to go into truck skin and we're going to add a traffic truck. And I actually pre-made a couple of uh, traffic truck skins that we're going to use now. One is for Mac Anthem. So in the basic, we're going to give it an internal name. So it's going to be Garage test one let's see spawn ratio can stay the same this doesn't really affect us we're gonna go to images i'm gonna add a image i'm gonna drag in one which i pre-made this is my again pretty basic one I'm gonna go to trailer this is now actually important we want to untick attach trailers because the trucks that spawn in this yard have to be without trailers, even though they get placed in front of these trailers sometimes. All right, spawn ratio. Oh, this is also a new interesting feature in this version of Mod Studio and also uh, available to our pro users. You can actually set spawn ratios by state. But obviously, since we're doing garages, we don't need that. Okay, basic spawn ratio. Actually, uh, we could lower this. If you don't want to see these trucks driving around without trailers, we can lower this to basically the minimum allowed value, which is probably zero, 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 one, or one. There we go. Obviously, if the field ends up being this... Uh, salmon red you can hover over it and you're gonna see what's wrong with it there we go the entered value is too low <laughs> there we go okay this is the minimum so this is my first truck i'm gonna be lazy a bit i'm gonna just duplicate i'm gonna switch to cascadia here i'm gonna change my rush test into two because we cannot use same internal names Gonna leave the spawn ratio low and we're gonna update our image just gonna drag in my cascadia image there we go trailer no trailer again and spawn ratios don't don't really matter excellent this is our two trucks that we have we can go now back into the jabs garage into the parked vehicles and then you can click this button find truck it's going to open a little window pop up, which will give you the two trucks that we added. Let's click select and here delete this truck 
we don't want SES trucks in here in the mix, so we're going to delete that, just leave the two trucks that we have. Okay, next we're going to add a couple of trailers. And I actually have three skins ready. And since we added in this version, we add almost like 20 new standalone trailers that you can create, which can be used in traffic and in the cargo market, freight, freight market. We're going to make a couple of those. So let's see what I have. Let's make a 45 foot SCS box insulated dry van. Well, let's go insulated 45 foot SCS box. Let's give it a name. Test trailer one, two, three. Spawn ratio. We can leave this one. It says enable in fre freight market. This is if you want to be able to hook up this trailer and drive it yourself. Traffic it says enable in AI traffic or only spawn with matched traffic trucks. I believe we want to do this because although the text only says only spawn with matched traffic trucks, it also should say only matched with spawn with matched traffic trucks and prefabs. I guess that's going to be an update in one of the next versions of Monster. Next, into the images, and I got a image already made. It's really simple. And as you can see, this is a two-sided trailer. Uh, most our standalone trailers are. Spawn ratios, we're going to leave. And this is actually this. Let's duplicate this trailer twice. Our second can be a drop deck, 53 feet. I'm gonna change this to say 54. Basically, internal name you can put in whatever you like as long as it's uh, as long as it's unique in the project. We're gonna leave these and we're gonna just update our drop deck skin image and last trailer. It's going to be a flatbed 53 footer. And again, we need to do something unique. And all other settings are correct. Just a image update. Here we go. Honestly, probably all the images could work between the trailers. Okay, this is it. Back to Jeff's brush template. And now we're going to delete these trailers. This is the white ones. I mean, you can leave them if you want some white trailers in between yours. I'm going to go find trailers. And in the dialog, we're going to select all of them. Click select. And this is it. Yep, that's the mod. If you want, you can go into mod manifest. You can edit your, uh, you can edit your uh, details. We've also added these nice images here. This is new in this version. And you can simply go and export your mod as a local mod and export it somewhere on your PC. I'm going to just do it on my desktop. I'm going to do this garage, click save, and Mod Studio will do its thing. And this is it. This mod that we're exporting now, or that we just successfully exported, is the one that you actually saw at the beginning of this video. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> All right. So this was a quick look at Jab Matchup Large Garage Prefab and what you can tweak and change using Mod Studio 2. Working on this project together with Jab uh, was a great experience, and I personally hope we're going to do more projects together in the future. Again, um, please visit Jab's Facebook page, and if you really like his 
work with this prefab, consider supporting him using PayPal. Uh, both of those links are um, down in this video's description box. Also, if you like what we do at Mod Studio, please consider uh, supporting us on Patreon. Uh, the support we've been getting from our patrons has kept this project alive and going strong for over a decade. Okay, I guess this is it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please click like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.